Hi there, it's Craig here. Um, I went in the fridge today and uh, I came up with an idea for a video. Uh, we always buy fresh fruit, or apples, oranges, and grapes. And a lot of times these things don't get eaten um, and they go bad. So they end up getting thrown out or get thrown into the compost. So I went into the fridge today and I found a whole bunch of grapes. Uh, these are uh, um, red uh, grapes. They are starting to go soft. Some of them are cracking. I went through them and um, I'll show you in a minute. I went through them and sorted them out and washed them. Um, but something very ex interesting about this, and I mean, we some of us know this and we don't really talk about it, but it is very interesting and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this. Just let me grab the camera. You know, you really don't have to be mystified or afraid of the fermentation process. It happens all the time in nature. Now, I have sorted these grapes out. Some of these grapes were a little too ripe for me. <clears throat> Some of them were cracked. And in the bag here where they were, in the bottom of the bag, I don't know if you can see that, there's a liquid. Okay? Now, that liquid is actually vinegar. And when I smell it, I can smell the smell of vinegar. It's almost tempting to taste that, but I don't want to because there might be some bacteria down in there. Um, and I'm not going to use those grapes that are down in there. The vinegar is a result of fermentation. The sugars in the, the, sugars in the grapes and the wild yeasts that are floating around in the air have uh, caused a fermentation, um, in, even in the fridge, and these grapes have started to ferment. Now what happens is you get the same thing you get with, with normal uh, fermentation when you make your beer or your wine. Okay, you get carbon dioxide and you get alcohol. Now in the fridge, in a bag like this, where it's sitting open like that, of course the carbon dioxide escapes and the alcohol evaporates. So what you end up with is a vinegar. Now, I don't claim to know anything about how to make vinegar, believe me, but I'm here to assume that that's how they make it, is they ferment fruit, rice, grapes, different things, and they get rid of the alcohol. They end up with vinegar. Done under sanitary conditions, of course, and that's what they do. Now, this is just an interesting fact, you know, that it's, it's going on all the time. Now, these bananas are actually fermenting right now. They're very ripe, and there's actually alcohol in the skin of a ripe banana. So now, I don't want to see these go to waste. <clears throat> um, some of them are still quite, quite, quite edible. Some of them are a little bit soft. Um, and what I warned my family a few days ago, I said, if you guys don't eat these grapes, they're gone. I'm going to take these grapes, and I'm going to put them through this machine here, which is a juicer. Um, and I'm going to extract all the juice out of these grapes. And then I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is take the juice that I get and the remnants of the grapes, the, what's left over, and I'm going to put them in a pot and I'm going to boil them for 15 minutes. So I'm just going to um, plop a bunch of these in there. Again, I went through them. I sorted, sorted them out. This video is a, like a last-minute thing for me. So I didn't prepare, I didn't get two cameras or anything like that, but I think we can we can deal with that this one time. Now juicers are great. I love them. I use this thing all the time uh, just to make a, um, nice fresh juice like carrot juice, celery juice. What I do, and maybe I'll make a video on this, is I take uh, a couple of carrots, a couple of stalks of celery, and then an apple chopped up, and I'll run it through this thing. And what I get out of that is an absolutely amazing drink that will pick you up out of any hangover you can ever imagine. <laughs> You can see we're getting <clears throat> juice down in here. Now there's not enough here to make an entire batch of, you know, any sort of uh, inmate brew or wine or whatever. I'm probably going to mix it with something else. I'm not sure yet, but hey, this is totally an experiment at this point, as is a lot of my cooking ex extravaganzas. So um, we're just going to go with the flow. Okay, now what I'm going to do. is I've got the juice here. I'm just going to take a little taste. Mm. 
It's a little, it's a little bitter, but it's quite nice actually. But I don't want to drink all that because I'm going to use it in my experiment. So now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little pot. And I'm going to put the heat on. And I'm going to put this juice into the pot. So it's pure grape juice. Now, I'm going to bring this to the boil. Um, I don't want to reduce it, really. I just want to bring it to the boil. And I'm going to take the um, stuff out of here. You see all that? Some juice there. There's a little bit of uh, pulp or whatever from the grapes. And I'm going to add this, too. Now, we don't necessarily want these... Uh, things in the in the juice or in the wine I'll I'll just strain them out later the reason I'm doing this is because I I'm thinking and again this is totally me experimenting thinking that there's some um, nutrients and even maybe some flavors in these wine skins that we've filtered out of here so we're just going to utilize whatever we've got and there we are now, by bringing this to a boil and letting it boil for 15 minutes, I'm going to kill any bacteria. And I guess that's basically why I'm doing it. I'm also going to extract some of the flavors from those uh, skins. Okay. I'm getting a little more courageous as I go along here, which often happens in the kitchen with me. I found an apple. Now, this apple's been in there, from what I can tell, just from how long I've been looking at it. Every time I go in there, it's been in there a little while. So I'm going to just have a little taste. Yeah, it's still sweet. And if it's still sweet, it's still good for fermenting. Okay. Oh, in it goes. Hey, why not? I mean, this is to, for me. Not only an experiment, but it's a way to uh, not waste things. <laughs> and believe me, if this works, it won't go to waste. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's only a little bit. Can you imagine what you could do with a bag of apples? There we are. Just crank that up a little bit. Get that boiling again. I don't even know if it's going to work, but we're going to find out in a later video. I'm going to add this to some apple juice I've got downstairs, and we're going to make basically an inmate brew or cider or whatever the heck you want to call this. Um, and we'll see how it turns out. Look at that. I don't think they can see you, bud. You're off camera. <laughs> okay, here's what I've done. I took some grapes, I put them through a juicer, got the juice out of them. Then I took the pulp and the juice, boiled it for about 15 minutes. Found a couple apples in the fridge, did the same thing with those. In the pot they went. Um, now, what I guess I'm gonna do is basically make an inmate brew style. Um, what I've got here is some apple juice. All right. So I've got three cans. I don't think I'm going to need all those. And I've got a half a pack of yeast. This is the other half of the package that I used in my last uh, apple cider video. So there's that. So let's get the pot of, of uh, the boiled stuff. Now what we're going to have to do with this, actually I didn't even think about this, is we're going to have to pour it through a colander. Well, I can't find one right now, so what I'm going to do <laughs> is just try my best not to get any of the pulp in there. Okay, can you? I hope you guys can see this. But um, I went. Oh, first <coughs> I went ahead and I put two cups of sugar in the bottom of this. Two cups of corn sugar. That alone can be a tedious job. Um, 
trying to get it through the funnel and everything else and it takes a while and as you can tell by my shirt it's uh, it can be quite messy so we're gonna pour our boiled grape apple juice in we're probably gonna get some pulp and stuff in there well you know what it doesn't matter just try our best to filter as much of it out, of it out as we can and uh, it'll it'll sink to the bottom there okay ideally you would want to have a like a colander or something but I forgot to get that ready for this and this is vi again this video is totally uh, off the uh, cuff I didn't know I was gonna do it till the last minute so now I'll get a can of um, apple juice now this is still warm but the apple juice is kind of cold because it was in the basement so um, hopefully this is going to balance out we don't want it to be too cold we don't want it to be too warm it's nice if it's a, sort of a kind of a nice warm room temperature in goes the apple juice now of course when you're doing these kinds of experiments you can use other types of juice um, you can use grape juice cranberry juice and I, I've done this on, on my channel so if you want to see those videos they're there um, as long as there's no preservatives in the juice, you won't have any problems. Fill it to about there. That's good. Now, I'm not going to add any new uh, yeast nutrient to this. i got to get the lid. One second. And we're just going to shake this real good. See? Got to get all that sugar off the bottom. Get it into solution. Now you can already see if you can compare this to the last, uh, the one I did, which was the apple cider, the hard apple cider. You can already see it's a different color. I'm gonna actually rip this label off uh, at some point, but you can, you can. Oh, there. <laughs> Thank you. You can see that it's a different color because of the grape juice. Shaking, it's good. It gets some oxygen in there. I don't have to tell you that we need oxygen in order to. Uh, ferment things. Take off the lid and just let some more oxygen get in there. There, that should be fine. Um, the next thing we have to do is take a little bit of a home brew break. Ah. So it's a half a pack of Fleshman's traditional active yeast and you are certainly welcome to use whatever yeast you choose okay now I didn't put any yeast nutrient in this because with the fruit in there I think that should be enough um, if um, if something doesn't work then I'll probably add some yeast nutrient or maybe I'll add a touch more yeast but I think this is plenty Just judging by the feel of this, it's um, not too hot. This label's still coming off here. Whatever. So um, it, it's it's not too hot. It's a, in fact, might be a little cool. But I'm going to take it to a room in my house that is quite warm um, upstairs, and I know that uh, things are going to start happening. I, I hope they start happening. It's an apple grape cider let's just call it that with real grapes real apple and concentrated apple or well real apple juice this is actually 100 percent pure apple juice from concentrate so there you have it what we're going to do now is we're going to put on the airlock just fill it with a little bit of water here in case you don't know i fitted i took the lid from another juice container and I burned a hole in it with a soldering iron just or a, you can use a wood burning uh, thing and just burned a hole a nice round hole try to make it as smooth as you can and get that thing in there nice and tight and that's your airlock if you don't have an airlock you can use a balloon a condom so then what I can do now is check for a seal keep it there 
This is Airlocks 101 stuff. You should watch that video if you want to know how to work out airlock issues. And when I let go, it goes back to where it was. So I think I've got a good seal here. Okay, so another inmate brew. Sort of a cider, grape, apple thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we'll see what, what happens with this. I'm gonna, as, as I said, I'm going to take it up and put it in a nice warm place. It's an experiment. It's fun. Um, you can use different yeasts. You can use, use different fruits. Make sure you wash the fruit before you do anything with it because it could have some um, uh, preservative sprayed on the outside of it. Some grapes even have the metabisulfite um, stuff sprayed on them. You know, just be careful. Wash it up nice um, and even maybe even peel it if you have to just to make sure there's nothing on it. But I'm going to finish my home brew. Thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers.